So my last video was about setting the self timer on the Canon EOS RP. In that video, I actually got a comment from someone that says it might be easier just to go ahead and use the Q button. What's the Q button? Hi, this is Don. Welcome to your YouTube two minute video for operating the EOS RP. So what the heck is the Q button? I looked and I looked and I looked, I couldn't find it. Ended up having to pull up the instruction manual and I finally, okay, this is what it is. It's the white text with the black background versus the black text and the white background. Turns out it's the set button. And once I finally took a look, there it was. So let's go over what the Q button is and how it works and certain areas of the camera that it's not gonna work for you. And we'll take it from there. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Interesting note, if you shoot on fully automatic, the features I'm about to show you are not going to show within this feature. Um, I'm already shooting into the aperture mode, um, which is more of a manual mode, but still not fully manual. Uh, it's where I'm comfortable. If you'd like to see the different types of manual, but not fully manual, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to whip up a video. But let's go ahead and show what the Q button is. The Q button is right there. I always saw the set just based off the black and white or white and black, but this really is the gateway to the EOS RP and the manual functions. Um, there are a couple of ways to get to it. Like I said, there's the Q button. Also, as long as you're in one of the more manual modes, you can hit the top right of the screen and that'll bring it up as well. So the different options that are here are quite, quite many and we'll go ahead and bring it up at the top. So the first one up here in the top left corner is the uh, autofocus method. And if you see down below, it gives you all the different options. The way you get through that is, the way you get through that is you dial through and it gives you, and it gives you an explanation as to what the, the modes are. And then if you don't want to adjust your autofocus, what kind of uh, autofocus operation do you want? As you can see, it's highlighted. Again, just dial this button right here at the, uh, the top right, just dial that, and it'll give you the different options. Drive mode, uh, you can set up the uh, drive mode, so I have it set for single shot. It's got high speed continuous, low speed continuous, and so on. This, funny enough, is the self timer that the previous commenter on my previous video uh, pointed out to me. So I was really glad that he made the comment. And if you see better ways of doing things on the way I'm showing you now, please don't hesitate. Throw it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So going back to the Q button, look at all this, the metering mode, uh, the image quality, the movie recording size. I'm currently sh uh, shooting at uh, 24 frames. And then to get past that, uh, just continue with the Q button and instead of your, your instinct is going to be you're going to want to go to the right or the left. You just keep hitting down and it'll take you to the next side. The uh, reverse arrow, that's the arrow to take you back in the menu. But if you wanted to look at, there's look at the flicker detection. Uh, there's the white balance. You can set the, your auto white balance if you want. Uh, picture style, that's more towards the themes that are set up within the camera. And then of course you have your auto lighting optimizer, which I really haven't touched. I haven't really explored much. And then of course your aspect ratio. For me, I always shoot in full frame, full aspect ratio, uh, just so I, I know that I have the full control. I'm either shooting full or I'm shooting 16 by nine. So that's the gateway to the operation of the EOS RP. Feel free to explore. Drop a line in the comments if you think there's something you'd like me to explain. I'll do it super quick, super easy. We'll call this the two minute videos. Thank you very much for taking a watch and we'll see you later.